Hello everyone, welcome back to another island tour on the JBN Millie channel. I am JB and it happened. I caught the bug. I caught the Halloween bug, be it from watching the brand new Scooby-Doo Trick or Treat movie trailer or just seeing things start to appear in, I guess some stores right now are getting on it early. I am now in the mood for Halloween. It sounds so weird to say, like pretty much on the tail end of summer, but it's happened, and so we are visiting this incredible island today. Wow. I cannot believe how cool this place is already. It reminds me of almost like if Disneyland was Halloween land. I suppose it probably looks something like that on actual Disneyland at Halloween, but who knows? I think I've only been once at Halloween time, and that was back when I was like two years old. So literally like 2000. Oh, I've never seen it set up like this. It's like a little snack train. I don't really get a good angle of it, but it reminds me a bit of the gravy train from Coraline. And there's some like it stuff going on. I don't want to miss anything. Oh wait, can we pick this candy up? Wow. This is such a cool Is this Nux? Wow. I am very much in the Halloween spirit, I've got to say. Oh my gosh, that was very ominous in the distance. That was very Stephen King like I always want to say. Able Sisters. So, it's cool. It's like, this is almost the obligatories of the island. Everything that they need to put in. But even then, they've not just put it in some out-of-place section. They've integrated it all within this theme. And I just... That's just amazing. I bet this island is so atmospheric as well. Like, it already is, but you know on Halloween when they've got that kind of music, you know, the da 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 Like, oh my god, is that Gengar? Oh my gosh. Oh, my, I really hope that that's a custom design that you can get at the, the kind of ATM. Oh, there's Woobat. Lollipop. This is literally a Halloween carnival. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. I want to get a picture of this. Look at that. If there's one thing that I wish that Animal Crossing did, like, I know that they said no more updates, and I don't think it really needs the big stuff. I just think, and again, I think back to my childhood days playing Club Penguin, when every time they'd have, like, new seasonal catalogues, I think that's all we'd need. Like, I don't know if it's, like, a different thing, but if, say, Club Penguin could make new events every year and put new items in the kind of gift shop catalogue, I don't see why they can't do that here as well. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's different from a business perspective. I guess someone, if you're into, like, economics or even just the game industry in general, please let me know. I mean, I wouldn't even mind it as, you know, DLC. Like, we've got stuff going on now with Mario Kart. I think... If maybe they got the price point right, the whole community would be up for new Halloween costumes, new Halloween items being in nooks for like, I don't know, five pounds, depending on what it is. I guess that's it. The price point's always going to be a bit dicey. Oh, at least for like, for the purpose. Okay, so spooky treats basket. Okay, so it's always a treats basket. Let's see. We can either be a mage. I guess a pirate? No, wait. Oh. Oh, so it's like a, a mix and match. Okay, okay. I was thinking it was going to be... What do we want to be? Should we be like a raggedy... A raggedy skeleton? We can try. I don't want mage's boots, though. I want these. So let's see. 
If we get it right, we should be a bit of a, a poorly dressed skeleton. You know what? I dig it. I dig that. I mean, this is... Ooh. I guess they're all different colours. I'm glad that we've kind of got it coordinated with a jacket, though. That was kind of... That was kind of rock and roll right there. I mean, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to go trick-or-treating this year? If so, what are you going to dress as? If you're not going to go trick-or-treating this year, or you're just going to dress up, what are you dressing up as? Or, again, with further questions today, what's been your favourite Halloween outfit ever? I mean, my personal goal this year is I kind of want to get trim enough to be Ned from Scooby-Doo 2. You know, I don't want to. I want. I mean, it's, it's not a very expensive costume, mind you. It's pretty much just a red T-shirt and a black jacket. But I kind of want to get the prop camera as well. I think that would be kind of fun. I mean, I'm not spoiled for choices, but that's something that I definitely thinks thinks realistic. Ooh. Oh, so there's like okay, Lily, Judy, Gulliver. Is that? It's not Cap'n, is it? Is that Graham? Maybe it is Cap'n. You've got Leaf, Lucky, Harv, Harriet, LaBelle, I think. Who is that one? Is that Consto? Dotty or Lottie? Oh, gosh, there's loads. Okay, uh, Cookie, I think. Oh, there's too many. Is that Chai on the table? Bubblegum KK twins, Chrissy and, and, oh no, I can't do it. You've defeated me there, hats off to you. That's crazy. This is just kind of cozy, really. Like making the most of like it's weird. It's like a cooked pumpkin there, which isn't ever how I've celebrated Halloween. But it's it's weird. It's a very spooky island that you'd almost expect this to be, you know, a haunted house. But that's actually quite cozy. You you'd imagine like traditional Halloween, maybe back in medieval times or something. I don't know. Oh. Again, I, oh my gosh, what the hell was that? Oh wow, how do you get that? I guess maybe from completing Happy Home stuff? I think I have that one. That one though, is goals. That's awesome. I need all these photos as well. Okay. Let's see what's her. Huh. So, I'm apologize for the pause. I'm just trying to suss this out. Because a part of me is thinking there must be a story to this and the reason why i say that is because this for all purposes seems oh, i don't know that i mean again i'm trying to think about the candles contrasting with the electric light bulbs and for all i know that some stuff are limited by the game i'm almost thinking is there a storyline to the point where we have a very traditional living room a very traditional kind of library room and dinner room in that is integrated with a relatively modern bathroom like i don't know i don't know i'm kind of just speculating at this point but and again this is very traditional very cool is that kk dirge no kk dirge no, kk aria these are cool oh gosh KK is just something else. I love KK Slider. Okay, 
Now it's time for potentially a spooky basement, and if you have watched the channel for a while, you all know that if there's one thing that gives me the absolute willies, it's spooky basements. So, oh gosh, I can only imagine what this is gonna. Oh! No, this is looking like a five star hotel or something. Jeez. And again, I am living for these like, pictures. You got Jingle, Jack. Oh, I guess these are like the NPCs. Oh, you got Gwen. Is that... Oh, who's that one? I feel like I should know that one to the right. They're a new one. Is it Ione? How have you pronounced that? J? Beard Beardo? Muffy, I think. Luna? Sheena or Shino? This is like a quiz, I feel. Because we've been so long out of Animal Crossing, <laughs> when it gets to like a situation where I almost need to like flex my my Animal Crossing brain muscles a bit, I almost relish in it, and I appreciate that. I really do. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm just here for this. Like, look at that. I feel like this is such a different vibe as well, because. A lot of our audience is from the US and I don't think you can really appreciate how different a UK Halloween is to a US Halloween. Like US and again I'm just I'm I'm honestly I could be wrong. I'm more or less just basing this on what I've seen in films, so take that what you will. But it's very you know, the streets are decorated, the neighbourhoods decorated and you know what I mean? It's pretty much like Christmas in that you can go outside and your neighbours will have decorations out and about. In England, we really don't get that. And I don't even think we get an awful lot of trick-or-treating in a lot of places in England. Like, certainly not in the more rural areas. I do think you need to be almost in a community community for that to happen. So, seeing all these, like, this is magic to me, because I've never, and I probably will never, unless I have a Halloween in the US, see anything close to just pumpkins being out and about for the season. Like, the most we'll have, really, for Halloween is the BBC maybe does, like, top 50 Halloween movies on the night or something. But, I'm not complaining, because... Me being such an antisocial person, I don't like this is the first year that we're going to be living somewhere but I'm even half expecting to have trick or treaters here, and I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I guess we'll have some candy. I mean, I need some advice actually. Now that I'm going to be asking this question in advance, what candy do kids like? Do I even answer the door? Like, do I need to? Like, if there's, like, pushy parents, do I need to prepare, like, the little tiny toothbrush things or apples? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to get into problems. But no. Um, the last year, I was a taco. The year before that, I was a pirate. So, definitely Ned seems realistic this year. Oh, I like that nut clock. Where do you get that from? I think there's a lot of items I don't have because they were locked behind that app that I did have and I did redeem some points. But I, I don't know. I need to check back in maybe. It's a lot more difficult now because back in the day when we were playing Animal Crossing, we had so many people that we knew that were playing the game. So if we ever needed anything, they'd honestly, like, watch the video. And it was actually magical, a magical time, to be honest. And then next day, we'd get, like, a letter, and it would be from one of our friends saying, oh, we heard you needed this. And now it's kind of like, no, we need to fend for ourselves. <gasps> this is a massive throwback. Can I make a speculation? that this is a relatively new player's house because I remember seeing this for like yeah 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 the first time in the catalogue and thinking that is my goal I want that item same with this
Wow. And this would this was like my ultimate showdown. I actually forgot about the Godzilla writer. But yeah, I remember just these were like the dream items for me. And again, I was gifted the robot for my birthday. And I could catalogue all the variants from my friend as well. The same friend, actually. So, And she eventually made some like JB and Millie Animal Crossing merch. Which you can find in the description down below if you would care to, to sport them. Hmm, is there a way? I think I may need to go around. Oh gosh. I love these custom paths. Quite autumnal, if that's how you say it. Kind of an abandoned shipyard. These, this is, I, I think I said this a couple of episodes ago. This item is actually what I think is going to be one of the more underrated and possibly underutilized Halloween items this year. Because it isn't Halloween, you know, like there's a variant of this which is just like Jack and the Beanstalks, you know, Beanstalk thing. But this is so like Nightmare Before Christmas, like Halloween Town to me that I think this is actually a better version of what this was trying to accomplish. I mean, obviously that, if you have like this variant, it's cool. And even this, there is some merits to it. But I don't think that there's really a reason to have this one over this one, if that makes sense. Not that the island's done anything wrong including this, but I think come Halloween season, this is the one to go for. What the heck is that? I don't think I've ever seen them on the beach and like going towards you before. Oh, that's cool how some of them have something. I could honestly just sit here and watch this. I mean, I've re I recently found a YouTube channel that is pretty much dedicated to growing an ant farm. I'm going to try and link it in the description. It's strangely addictive. I think it's partly like the commentary, partly the editing or something. But I've, I've just been hooked on it. So how do I get up there? Is this another house? Why have I been to this house? I am actually hopelessly lost. Have I been to this house? I don't think so. Because one of them was like a castle. The other one was like smooth. No, I haven't been here. I'm going to have to take a cheeky look at the map eventually. But this is cool. I like the kind of bunting that they've got. Again, very traditional. Hmm. I wonder what this is going to be. This is going to be... Oh, so this is like a kid's room. Oh, this is cute though. Oh, I've never seen this before. That's like a traditional Barbie doll. Nice. There's some cobwebs there though, so... There's definitely some level of disrepair but again there's you know kind of kitty halloween bunting there so it could even be that within the law of the house that's just like a fake cobweb which is weird to say but i remember them in england in bnm they sold like just jumbled cotton wool and it was marketed as cobwebs for halloween decorator Again, this is just very cute. I love how coordinated all this is. The Happy Home like Academy, or well, not the Academy, the Happy Home. Gosh, what's it called? Just the Happy Home people. That grade houses must love that room.
I wonder if this is going to be a bathroom. Oh, yeah. Again, on that kind of pink theme. This is a toilet? No, that's a basin. See, I love that. They've, like, cornered it off. Again, with partitions, but it almost has the effect of the wall partitions, but looking a bit nicer for the theme. In fact, can I get rid of this? Because this is kind of annoying me. Like, can I... Yes, okay. Lesson learned. I'm not eating any more candy. That's actually so much better. Oh, there's Pave in the corner there, on the photo. Okay. Hmm. Again, I'm getting a lot of like almost antique looks there. I'm not familiar with this line of furniture at all. But I'm addicted to this bunting they've got going on, and even these small toys. This is so pretty. I'm here for this, you know. Again, another chance to just get completely spooked out by the basement, but... I'm, oh, uh, fingers crossed I can survive. And again, it's another cute one. It's actually a garden century one, which is just completely different, right? Ooh, nice music taste as well. Oh, I've never seen that before. That's interesting. I don't know if it's just the wallpaper, but this in and of itself is giving me wedding season vibes. I think it's the pink bow. The pink bow definitely adds to that effect. So, let's see. I might need to take a look at the map because I do think I'm at risk of getting painfully lost. But, we will see. Let's see how many have Because we've been in three so far. I don't predict there'll be many more, if any. Okay, no, so we've got all the houses. Where are we? We're there. At Sophia's house. We started at the airport. I don't think we've gone to the right-hand side. So if we make our way back to the airport and then head right. Ooh, is that one of the island creators? Boo! Where is the way back? I think we follow the candy, like Hansel and Gretel. Ooh, that's a very freaky islander, especially in the dark of those eyes. Okay, so... Is it here we need to go? And then, I think we still need to head down, potentially. And then to the right still, so let's... Head to that airport. Ooh, is that Litwick? Pumpkaboo? I'm just in love with the Pokemon stuff on this side, to be honest. So is it the right... Or did we already visit the right hand side? I'm lost. I guess this is the kind of spooky nature of Halloween. You get discombobulated. And then you get got... Oh no, I think this is all new. Is this Chai? I do think this is Chai. It's Tia. On royalty. I like that actually. Royalty, but royalty. Huh. <laughs> no, I like that. What is that? Oh, it's a bench. Look at this. 
such a lovely halloween -y residential zone. This is what I'm saying. This is actually what I imagine a neighborhood in, on, you know, looking like a Halloween in America. Again, maybe that's just completely Hollywoodified. But that's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So can I double back there? I think I can. I don't think I can get to it, which is a bit stinky. But you can kind of see why, with it being a nice centerpiece of the island. Oh, that's a shame. I would have loved to have got a photo of it. Maybe there is a way that I can get to it. I'm just too... <laughs> I'm a bit too dense to figure it out. But regardless, like, it was just such a stunning thing to see. There must be a way down, I'm sure. I guess if the island creator ever sees this... It looks like it would involve a little bit of parkour, eh? Letting in by the same point, the fact that they have put all that effort into what's potentially going to be in the distance and inaccessible is kind of a flex in and of itself. Oh, more Pokemon. Look at that. Again, that reminds me so much of the old OG Animal Crossing glitch where you could jump through like waterfalls. <gasps> Is that the museum? Holy moly. I need all this. This is literally a vibe. This is everything that Halloween should be. Look at that. Look at all these markets as well. Some of the imagery is also giving me like Day of the Dead festival vibes. Wow. And I think... That brings us, if this is the field, yeah, I think that brings us back. So, wow, I absolutely love this island so much. It's really, like, ingrained in my mind that this is going to be a Halloween to remember. But if you want to bring Halloween to yourself, if you want to visit this island for yourself, then you can visit at the Dream address. DA97438400-8144 That's DA97438400-8144 Please make sure to visit and give the creator a bit of love in the description down below. So thank you so much for seeing another island tour on the JBN Millie channel. Don't know how many more of these we're going to do. We are definitely loving them a lot. But of course, this is a massive nostalgia throwback. If you do want to see more of these, let us know in the comment section down below. If you've been enjoying the content that we've been doing out of Animal Crossing more, let us know that as well. This is just a passion project for us at this point. Um, but again, it can't last forever. But we are so honoured to visit these islands after spending so long out of the game. So if you do want to see this and more, then please like, comment and subscribe to JBN Millie and we'll see you next time.